give the haste of my handwriting, Claudia. Much has transpired, and little of it good. I am on a ship bound for Constantinople, in pursuit of a man whose treachery has eluded me until now. Prince Ahmed, Suleiman's uncle, is the man leading Templars here. He is the mastermind behind their Masyaf expedition, and he will stop at nothing to retrieve the keys, all of which are now in assassin hands. So what holds me back? Why do I not take the keys to Masyaf myself and be done with these fools? Because I have been careless. Because the Templars know about Sophia, and they are looking for her. Oh, Claudia, if anything should happen to her, I could not live with myself. I have dragged her into a war she knows nothing about. And it will be my burden to bear if she comes to any harm. Citizens of the Empire and travelers from foreign lands take heed. By order of the Janissaries, new restrictions apply to all who travel to and from the city. Note that a reward of 10,000 Akche will be given without question to anyone who brings in information that leads to the immediate arrest of the Suikasche, Ezio Auditore. Cyril of Rhodes remains a danger to this city. Do you understand why? I was over-eager, Mentor. You were hasty, thinking only of the kill and not the approach. I can correct my mistake, Mentor. Cyril was spotted this morning, not far from here. Bene. We will find his trail together. Come, let's do it. the body of the man who gave me Cyril's name. But not quickly enough. We can still find him. Deacon. It is unwise to kill a man in plain sight. What do you propose? I will create a diversion. If he gives chase, you follow. Bene. Do it. Please! Do not get away! God! You cannot escape! I should have known you brutes were behind this. Who else, Deacon? You are meddling in affairs far outside your understanding. Go hide in your haystack. A pity you assassins work alone. It will take longer to kill you all. So what happens now, assassin? What do you hope to hear, assassin? That I regret my associations? Never. 
Rome abandoned us in our time of need. The West turned a blind eye to the Ottoman juggernaut. Is it any wonder that I should turn to men with more honor, more courage, and more vision? I regret nothing. Preguiescat in pace. The dark grows bold. Reminded me of that little girl from... brother requiescat in pace brothers sisters the whole city rises against us while Yusuf's murderer waits and watches from the arsenal laughing fight with me and show him what it means to cross the assassins. You 
was so close that... Where is she? <laughs> Such fury. Where is she? If you think you are in a position to negotiate, kill me and be done with it. I am sorry it had to come to this. Two men who should be friends, quarreling over the keys to a library. We both strive for the same end, Ezio. Only our methods differ. Do you not see that? Peace, stability, a world where men live without fear. People desire the truth, yes. But even when they have it, they refuse to look. How do we fight this kind of ignorance? Liberty can be messy, Ahmed. But it is priceless. Of course. And when things fall apart, and the lights of civilization dim, Ezio Auditore can stand above the darkness and say proudly, I stayed true to my creed. I will open that library, and I will find the Grand Temple. And with the power that is hidden there, I will destroy the superstitions that keep men divided. Not in this life, Ahmed. Bring the seals to Galata Tower when you are ready. Do this, and Sophia will be spared. My brother's army will be here soon, Ezio. After that, everything changes. How long have you been here? Long enough? I had Ahmed tell as soon as he returned. But I never expected to hear... all this. And what do you think? He is a sincere man. But this Templar fantasy of his is dangerous. It flies in the face of reality. The world is a tapestry of many colors and patterns. A just leader would celebrate this, not seek to unravel it. He fears the disorder that comes from difference. That is why we make laws to live by. A kanun that applies to all in equal measure. Shashtadem! Stand back! Hold, soldier! This man is not our enemy. What a challenge it would be to have a son like you. You are not dead yet, old friend. Ezio, spare my uncle if you can. Would your father? No.
Mentor! Mentor, you must hurry! One of your assassins is in grave danger. Where? The Grand Bazaar. The Templars have cornered your den master there since morning. Grazie. Safe, friend. There are Templars everywhere, Mentor. It seems I have a bounty on my head. Then we should turn the tables. Flee here and draw them out into the open. Evet, Mentor.
No one else can fight. I am not involved! Please, ignore me! Find the assassin and bring that rat to justice! Assassins are a plague on the hope of humanity, pulling down every edifice of progress we managed to build up. Given enough time, I could have delivered my people into the arms of the Templars, but no more. Live this life in peace. Try this, Ezio. A caltrop bomb. A non-lethal method of stopping pursuers. I like the sound of that. When I first sailed with my uncle Kaman more than two decades ago, we had quite a lot of fun with these in many rowdy ports. In Rodos, for instance, it was so easy to lure the hospitalers from their palace posts right into a patch of caltrops. <laughs> and to see them dancing in the street in a full suit of armor, nothing is more undignified. Try it, you'll see. together with this
Tell me about your special bomb casings. Well, I have some sticky resin bags. My uncle Kamal had a wild fondness for them. During Beazid's conflict with Venezia, he was a captain in the Ottoman Navy. He liked resin bombs because they stuck to almost any surface. The hulls of large ships, for instance. I lost many friends in that conflict. We all did that, Zio. And that war is why I became an assassin. I hate the artificial boundaries our leaders have built between people. We fight to end the fighting. It is a sad irony. It will always be an irony, Evette. But perhaps one day it will not be so sad. Use this wisely. Ezio, good news. See? Si. Mirella was spotted here moments ago, purchasing various reagents and oils. Such as? What did the man say? Walnut oil? Cardamom? Datura? Datura is a deadly poison made from a flowering plant. Hmm. I may be able to track her. What is it, Mentor? What do you see? The subtlest evidence of things that have been. A trace here, a wisp there. Signs and scents. My senses are more finely tuned than most. This way. We are getting closer. This seems right. Ah, see. She has been here within the past few minutes. I will take cover while you flush her out.
I am losing the scent. This way. We are getting closer. This seems right. Ah, see. I am losing the scent. This way. There. Dannazione! So dies another wretched Romani. Is that what you are thinking, assassin? Maybe your heart is filled with pity for me? Then leave me be, for I despise such charity. I took what was owed me, in spite of oppression, of hatred, of ignorance. I live my own way, for myself. Requiescat in pace. understand. I did not go to the Templars. They came to me, threatening me with violence if I did not comply with their demands. Which are what, exactly? He pays money to the merchants in assassin districts to keep prices artificially high, hoping this will turn public opinion against us. What do we do with you, Theodoros Condenos? Are you any use to us at all? I can take you to the Templar Enforcer. He's an African named Dunkas. He's the man in charge of running this racket. Bene. Lead us there, and we will do all we can to keep you safe.
The Templars' coffers are deep. We've always had a difficult time competing on that score. When you champion the poor and powerless, you take on certain risks. <laughs> Better to be poor than wrong, is that it? Gay, don't you think? Better. Uh, are we late? I feel we are. I, I mean, it's no bother. We can meet tomorrow. We are right on time. Ah, well, wonderful. Suddenly, I, I, I don't feel very well. I, I may be coming down with a, a touch of something. This will not take long. You give us the money, we give you access. The Guardian will explain all. Ah, uh, yes. The African gentleman. Yes. Carlson. Anthony. Damn it! Run! Run! Amanda. Stop it! What folly is this? Carlson, get away! Anthony. God protect me! Kind of Theodorus Comnenos, you have been a friend to the Templars, and a generous partner. What would you say to a permanent appointment with our men in Alexandria? We could use a man of your means. What would I say? Well, I, uh... Assassins! They followed me! Look, they are here! Lazy fool. Ah! Our business here is done. You fought for the Guardian. I can catch up. So it comes to this. I must get out of here! 